Okay, everybody, this is day, the beginning right. of day three. Uh, we woke up, we're dressed, ready to go. Um, so we're going to get some gas and we're going to head out to San Francisco today. So today is in the big city. Um, there should be a lot of good, really crazy things to eat, um, some fun things to drink, and obviously some beautiful things to see because the city is great. So we will uh, turn the camera back on in the car and then we will head our way to San Francisco. Bye, guys. All right, so we're heading into San Francisco and we're coming up to the bridge. Oh my gosh, it's another gorgeous day. It's as clear as it possibly could be. And there's the bridge, San Francisco. <laughs> Okay, so we finally made it to San Francisco. We're at Tartine Bakery and we had to get a Nano <gasps> chocolate. This, this was the best. So, no, why do we why do we have to get this? See Explain. all the layers. Explain why we had to get this, baby. It was on Food Network, uh, best thing I ever ate. I forgot which chef it was, but they said this is a die for. They only make Three or four hundred a day, and they sell out. Um, it's around eleven o'clock right now. There was they've opened since nine, eight o'clock, something like that, on the Saturday. There's a line around the door, around the corner. We waited in that line. It wasn't too bad, um, yeah, but we was, got it. And um, I also had to get a, a little coconut macaroon to give those a try too. <laughs> and that looks really good. Yay! All right, so we're gonna dig into these. Um, Tartine is such it's such a tiny little bakery, but it's really cute. Gorgeous. Obviously really popular. There's a ton Very of Very popular. Here, gorgeous so. stuff. So but the line moves fairly quickly. We'll let you know how it is. Oh, I lost my paper. <laughs> that is like the darkest, deepest chocolate and like 15 layers of croissant. That's insane. Here's mine. Meeting it. You can see the layers. It's like a croissant, but filled with chocolate. And all of a sudden you did it and you just did it. It's so buttery. Oh man. It's the winner. Honey lavender, coffee toffee, rocky road, mint chip, cookies and cream, chocolate, earl grey, hazelnut, Meyer lemon, salted caramel, brown butter pecan, peanut butter fudge swirl, brown sugar with ginger, chocolate coconut, toasted coconut, banana, ginger, chocolate, Okay, so we got done with our lunch at Wafer Tavern. Amazing! Amazing! Uh, really good. They recommended the fried chicken of all things and uh, usually don't think of fried chicken when you think of like really good food. But this one happened to be the best. really good. Uh, just the herbs on it, the thyme, the sage, the rosemary. Um, Way to go Tyler Torrance. It's, it's very good. So we're walking now. Um, to the ferry building. Um, 
I just gotta say, the San Francisco is what a great day. I mean, look at not a cloud in the sky. The sun's out. There's the skyline. Are you singing? No. <laughs> However, singing. it's just a nice day to be out I'm here walking. today. I'm walking across the street now. Hey everybody, so we made it inside the ferry building and uh, there's a lot of cool things to see here. As soon as we walked through those doors there behind me, uh, the first thing we saw, which is this cool little board here that tells you kind of the ferries that are actually departing to Vallejo and Sausalito and stuff. This is actually still a ferry building. So cool. But then also there's Cowgirl Creamery, which is on our list to go see. But check this out. Here's a board of all the places that are here. Lots of things to walk around and see. So we're going to find the best of the best in here. And, uh, and we're going to video and show you guys what we've come across already. So on the Calgo Creamery, we love cheese, so we'll try that out. See ya. So they have a cowgirl creamery here, and we got ourselves a little half thing of um, uh, Mount Tam cheese. And if you remember, that was part of the grilled cheese sandwich that we had in Mount uh, Tam at the John Muir Woods. We had a grilled cheese sandwich that was made with that cheese. So we got ourselves a half of a wheel, um, and we, we're going to keep going on. There's a lot more places to see. See ya. Okay, we're at Humphrey Slocum Ice Cream Place in the Ferry Building. As you can see, there's a super long line of people. It goes all the way back there. There's all the flavors. We gotta figure out what we wanna get. But it should be good. Okay, so we found a table here at the uh, Ferry Building and we got ourselves some ice cream. And we got the signature flavor, it's called Secret Breakfast. It has cornflakes in it. And what? I guess it's bourbon. Cornflakes and bourbon. That was insane. So we're going to give this a try. I sampled it. It was really good. April sampled some other things here. They were allowed you to sample. What did you try? The, the via, it was uh, the blue bottle Vietnamese coffee flavor. It was really good. <laughs> but this one is just as good. So we're going to give it a, give it a whirl. And the Dolce de Leche, did you try? Malta Dolce de Leche. So that was really good. Very good. This is apparently their signature one. It's dripping everywhere, as you can see. So we're going to eat it now. Hey guys, so as you can see, we're trying this secret breakfast. Really good. Um, What's in it? You get that bourbon flavor, but it's not too strong. It's not alcoholy. Um, it almost tastes like a butter pecan, but it's got um, the um, cornflakes in it, which is really good. So, a little trip, a little trick for you guys when you're eating ice cream: um, eat it with the with this with the ice cream side down. You know, say because if you do it this way, the ice cream touches the roof of your mouth and it actually numbs your taste buds. Ah, um, so. Good. I usually eat ice cream cut upside down spoon. That way the ice cream hits your tongue first and you get all the flavor and you don't numb yourself. So little trick, little trick out to you guys. But we're going to finish this ice cream and head back over to the ferry building and uh, continue on our adventure. But this is really good. See you guys. Bye.
All right, everybody. So we just came back from, we're still in San Francisco in the city. We came back from Hard Water, which is right there on uh, Pier 3 of the of the wharf area. Um, Hard Water got a mint julep. Uh, has a huge library of whiskeys and bourbons. and That, that place is pretty crazy. Um, nice place. So we had a drink there. Um, we are heading, where are we heading? We are heading to a place called Buena Vista Cafe. Okay. They invented the Irish coffee. Uh, oh, it says keep clear. But I'm oh, gonna keep clear. Keep clear. That's okay, okay. Back to the description. So I gotta drive. Sorry. Oh. Uh, Buena Vista. So they invented the Irish coffee made with Tullamore Dew Irish whiskey. Um, they invented that cocktail back in 1950 something. So we're gonna go there to the original place and have an original Irish coffee there. Yeah. Okay. So we're going to drive through there. We got to concentrate cuz San Fran is crazy when it comes to driving. So we will see you guys when we are at Buena Vista. Okay guys, so we're at the Buena Vista Cafe in San Francisco where they originated the Irish coffee. And it's really loud in here and there's a lot of people all drinking Irish coffee so I'm going to make this short but we're here. This is awesome, a piece of history which I really enjoy. So we're going to finish this drink and we'll see you later. Bye. Hey guys, so we are at Fisherman's Wharf, the famous Fisherman's Wharf in San Francisco, California, where they have fresh Dungeness crab, and uh, because of that, we had to get Dungeness crab. Now, we did have Dungeness crab earlier in Sausalito, but here, we wanted to do uh, their famous crab chowder, not clam, but crab chowder in a bread bowl. Uh, that's fresh. Uh, crab here as well as a sourdough bread bowl from Boudin Bakery from San Francisco. So this is as local and as good as it gets. So we are going to definitely enjoy this and then move on to the next place after that. Uh, see you there. Mm -hmm. Alright guys, so we just left Fisherman's Wharf and we're walking down Embarcadero, I think it is. And, uh, I'm sorry, we're walking down Jefferson, but it's right where all the Fisherman Wharf stuff is. There's a bunch of like t-shirt shops and shops and stuff. Um, street performers and stuff. Ooh, we're crossing the street. And, I don't want to get run over. But, we are heading back to the car. We've got one maybe two more places to go but that crab clam chowder was pretty darn good we were in line waiting for clam chowder and someone recommended we get the crab chowder which makes sense so we did that and it was really good all right some guy here on the streets plays the music real loud so we're gonna go but we'll catch up with you and then that guy smelled like pot so that's not good either all right dude we're gonna see you later. Oh, it smells like weed. Oh, it's so gross. It smells like weed. But we're gonna go and we're gonna see you at the next place. Uh, probably a bar and just have a couple of cocktails the end of the night. Okay, bye. Hey guys, so we just came back from a bar in San Francisco called Bergerac. Uh, one of my good friends works there and uh, we went to visit him. We sat at the bar with him. Had a charcuterie plate which was really good. They had some pickled vegetables on there. Jameson, Mustard. you're the bomb. 
Uh, my good buddy Jameson was bartending. Um, real awesome guy, cool cat. If you're ever in San Francisco, go to Bergerac. He's there behind the bar. Uh, they also did like a little flame flame fire show. That was amazing. Kind of a thing. Um, I guess some people ordered some stuff and they were doing some breathing, fire breathing and stuff like that, which I have video on, which you might just see. Um, that's the end of day three. Um, we're beat. It's pretty late. It's about 11 o'clock at night. It's late. Um, but that's San Francisco, you know. <laughs> that's what happens. You start early and we trek through and that's the culinary tour. That's endurance, man. A lot of good food, a lot of good drinks. But with that, I bid you do. Have a good night. Good night. Bye. Woo, bye.